Well, Scott will do. If this is the final of what the critics has said are too easy of test for Joe Macy, they're making this graduation a worthy celebration. Yeah, they are. And they're trying, this crowd is really on, really in, in, in the house for Joe tonight. And they're very supportive. And that's it's a wonderful thing. And Joe is working the crowd up because he needs that support. He needs that adrenaline rush himself. Many call him Buffalo's third pro sports franchise. The 29-year-old Joe Macy gives up a couple inches to Davis, weighted at 230 pounds. Here's Hubert Earl, your referee, scheduled for 12 rounds. Have a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Shake hands, bell ring. Come on, fighting. Let's go, Clay. Robert Let's go. Davis. Ready for Joe Macy. And after that long, grand entrance, Scott, I think Macy looks a little dry. That's a lot of pressure to put on this young guy. A lot of pressure. Robert Davis coming forward to try and walk him down. We spent some time with Joe Macy. He told us that a good night is anything that results in a win. He just wants to keep everything on course. First round knockouts. Davis eight, Macy six in their career. Joe came in low that time and threw the right hand over the top. Davis has got to keep those hands up high. Scott, getting back to that point about the way they view this night, do you see this as a just win night or a night in which he needs to go out there and really show us something special? I think he has to win and he has to be spectacular doing it. Short right hand set up by the left. Not a lot of power in those punches at this point. There's a right hand that hurts Davis. Great right hand. Dropped that left hand. He dropped that right hand right in. There's another big right hand, and that's it. That's it. Left hook, right hand. Hook right in, right on the money. All the work he's been putting in has paid off for him, and he made a spectacular move tonight. Joe Macy, 120 of the first round. His 24th career knockout. Macy threw eight punches in that first round. All eight were power connects. All and boy, power that connects. last combination was just devastating, Scott. Here's the first knockdown. The combination, right hand, right on the jaw. Caught him on the inside twice with right hands and caught him on the way down. And Davis got back up. Joe walked in through a left hook right hand, right on the money. He brought him in with that left hook, brought him that left hook around, brought him right into that right hand. Watch, he'll pull him right into that right hand. The referee stepped right in and stopped that immediately. Caught a great right hand there. You know, Scott, we were visiting with Hasim Rachman earlier, and that left hook that guided in and brought him into that right hand was a duplicate of the left right hand that Lennox Lewis put on Rockman in their rematch. Exactly. You're going to pull him in with that left hook and then fire the right hand. Makes him move their head over, and it's right there for your right hand. All right, we just got done talking about it before he scored the first knockdown. He said it was a just-win situation, but if the knockout came, then that's great. We were saying, you know what? It's got to be more than that. It was much 
much more than that tonight. Much more than that. He showed himself tonight. Showed himself, one, he has power, and he made a big, spectacular close. We will take a break, but when we come back, we will hear from Baby Joe. Buffalo's third pro sports franchise is still unbeaten. Baby Joe goes to 26-0 with 24 knockouts. We will hear from him when we come back. Back to the HSBC Center, where the crowd is rocking on Tuesday night fights because their hometown heavyweight did exactly what they wanted him to do. Joe Macy steps in and just annihilates Robert Davis. He's now 26-0 with 24 knockouts. Two knockdowns scored in that first round. A big left-right combination knockout win, 120 of the first round. Macy now 26-0, 24 knockouts in what many feel is the last of what critics have called easy steps for him. Many of the locals feel it's time to step up, and folks, it may just be that Joe Macy is ready to make that move in what is a wide-open heavyweight division. How are you feeling, Joe? Let's head up to the ring to Scott Ledoux with baby Joe Macy. I'll tell you something, Joe, it's pretty exciting. How about you? I'm very excited, you know, I'm very excited, I'm very confident. I knew I was going to win easy. I'm too hard of a worker, you know. I may not be the best, most talented heavyweight out there, but I am the hardest working heavyweight out there. You can guarantee that. Now I'm in the top ten and I'm a force to be reckoned with. Well, I'll tell you something, they always say the harder you work, the luckier you get. Tonight, when you came out tonight, were you expecting to go out there and try and knock him out early? You want to know something? Not really. Not really. Uh, I know that he's kind of a little weak early, and he strengthens later in this fight. I've been watching Robert for years. I thought maybe I'd have a little opportunity early to try to test him. Um, you know, I didn't even get all I got, you know? What's next, Joe? Are you thinking you're going to move into the top ten and fight a top ten fighter? Well, I'm in the top ten now. I'm legitimately one of the best uh, ten heavyweights in the world. I'm hoping for the big fights. I want Tyson and Holyfield and Rockman and two and all those other guys and the champ, Lewis. Um, I started the sport late, I matured late, and I'm hoping now is, I mean, I know now is my time, and I'm hoping to get those opportunities. Rockman's here at ringside tonight. He said he'll take the fight if you can get him. I would love that fight. Rockman and I have a history in the amateurs. He's a great guy. I'd love the opportunity to fight him and Evander as well. I'll tell you what, if that's the kind of fight you're looking for, then if these fans can quiet down, quit their complaining. You know, I hope they do. You know, these are the these are the wonderful fans that support me. They don't care who I'm fighting and when I'm fighting. They're always here. There's a few people, a few critics. They're going to criticize you always. I'm very level-headed. I don't let that distract me, and I appreciate the fan support. I'll tell you, the fans here were unbelievable tonight. I haven't seen anything like it for a lot of years. It's fun to see a crowd like this. How do you get them into this house like this? Get them so fired up for you, Joe. You want to know something? We've got the greatest people in Western New York. It's a great place to live. The greatest fans. we got the Buffalo Bills, Buffalo Sabres, Buffalo Bisons. The people of Buffalo love their sports, and they love Joe Macy. Joe Macy wins tonight big. Is what he wanted to do. Is what the people wanted to do. And we got it tonight. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. Thanks.